everybody, it's Kristen and it's time for another Four Looks One Palette. If you are new to Four Looks One Palette, first of all, welcome. Second of all, this is a video series that I've done. I have well over 40 of them at this point that I will list a playlist below in case you are interested in uh, what other palettes I've done. And it's I take a palette, this time happens to be the Nike Tutorials palette, The Power of Makeup with Too Faced, and I create four looks and throw them all together and then give a review of the product or the palette at the end. So, uh, having said all of that, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah. I use the shade in Irresistible, which is this shade right here, all over the inner two-thirds of my lid. I used Makeup and Chill on the outer two-thirds and pulled into the crease. I used Painkiller. I say it all here, pretty much. I used Painkiller as transition. I will probably do that every single day. And then I used Ivy as my brow bone highlight. For blush today, there are two blushes in this palette, so I'm going to try to use those or some combination of them throughout the week. I used this one, which is in I Will Always Love You, and I did add a little champagne truffle on my cheeks and also a little chocolate soleil, just a little bit as a contour. Beneath my lower lash line, I took this shade in Mystic Hour. And then I also, there's a mascara that came with it, which I unexpectedly <laughs> found out was purple. So when I hauled it, I just said, you know, that I had used this mascara and blah, blah, blah. I didn't really think anything of it. Then today I went to open up and use it, and it is purple. So let me just show you that. And so I used that on my lower lash line. I thought that would be kind of fun against that sort of teal green. So let me zoom you in. So here's the look. today I wanted something kind of peachy but I don't really have anything in my collection in that that aside from Juicy Melon and I didn't want to use that again from Too Faced although it is Too Faced I probably should have anyway so I took the lip liner from MAC in Lasting Sensation which is really it is it is pretty bright and then over the top of that and I had I kind of planned this out I didn't just willy-nilly it I used the Tardis Lip Paint in Namaste and I really took my finger and blended those two together. And then over the top of that, I added a little bit of Buxom Celeste. And there's the look. All right, the second look I created is with Sugar Coat, coated, coated all over the lid. And then I used Wanted, which is that black, just in the crease. I intended it to be just a little bit more pronounced and I ended up getting a little too much with the blending. You know, sometimes that happens. And then just on the very edge, I actually used the blush in Justify My Love. Just on the very edge of the crease, I took the same, that black wanted shade on a liner brush along my upper lash line. I used the Sephora black liner in my upper waterline. And then on that same liner brush, just really close to the lash line, I used wanted beneath my lower lash line as well. So let me go ahead and zoom you in. Okay, so here's the look. For blush, I used the pink blush and just to find my love, just like it did in the crease. I did use a little bit of the Chocolate Soleil as my contour, and then I took the, what is it, Champagne Truffle as my highlight. And then on my lips today, I used the Tarte, the Tartist Lip Paint in FOMO. All right, third look. Deep, dark, smoky. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I feel like frequently that happens on my third look, but... Anyway, I really wanted to use the shade in Mystic Hour, so like in a very prominent way. And that is this shade right here. And as you can see, I have that all over my eye, beneath my lower, or all over my lid, and beneath my lower lash line. I also used, you would think I could remember, Painkiller right here in the crease, and then Makeup and Chill to really... You'll see that better when I when I zoom in. I wanted just a little bit more depth and dimension on the outer corner, so I used the black shade and wanted on the outer and corner. And then I also used, you know, I used Mystic Hour beneath my lower lash line and on the outer corner, again, I used some of that wanted. Just really, like I said, to add some, a little bit more dimension, a little bit more sort of interest, so it wasn't just all that same shade. And then I used Ivy, which is the shade right here, on the upper brow bone. And I also used just a combination of ivy and what is that yum frosted yum on the inner corner it's not going to look like that silver at all but I really want I didn't want the complete matte of that um, ivy and I didn't want the silver of the frosted yum so I just kind of combined them to brighten up that inner corner just a little bit I uh, used the Sephora black liner on my upper waterline and on my lower waterline and I think that's everything so let me zoom you in so here's the look Now 
Mystic Hour really is such a pretty, pretty shade. I love that. And then for blush, I took I Will Always Love You and Justify My Lush. The two here, I com I went back and forth between the two of them evenly, and I used that on my cheek. <laughs> on my cheek? On my cheek. And of course, I used the uh, Champagne Truffle, and then the Chocolate Soleil is my bronzer and highlight. And then the last thing is for lips, I used the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick in Pink Nude. All right, with the fourth look, I think I have managed to use everything in this palette. Uh, I went ahead and took Frosted Yum on the inner third of my eyes. I used Wham Bam on the outer two-thirds of my eye. I took Painkiller in the crease and I kind of mixed it with Ivy because I didn't want it to be too deep. And then as I continued on, again, the same thing. I really needed something to kind of add some dimension and depth to that outer corner. So what I did was I really went back and forth between Wham Bam and Wanted on uh, 217, MAC 217, back and forth and back and forth, and then I just kind of very lightly deepened up that crease. So I didn't want that black to look like black, but I really wanted to add sort of a darker shade of purple, so that's what I did. And then um, I, I used a little bit of ivy to blend up there as well, and then I took Champagne Truffle, which is the highlight, and I went just underneath my brow bone with that. I took the Frosted Yum, that silver shade, beneath my lower lash line. And then on a liner brush, right up at my lash line, I took that purple, that Wham Bam, and just kind of really went up there. And then I used the purple mascara on the that came with it on my lower lash line. And I just tight lined. I didn't use any liner on my upper lash line. I just tight lined with the Sephora liner. And I think that's everything that's on my eyes, so let me zoom you okay, in. So here's the look. Not a normal look for me, but I really was just, I was trying to stretch myself a little bit, and I really wanted to make sure I used all of the shades. So then I did not, for some reason, contour today. No idea why. I didn't. <laughs> so I did use Justify My Love on my cheeks and then a little bit of the Champagne Truffle as a highlight. And then on my lips today, I used the one of my Doll 10 duos. This is the one with French Beige. Just the, that is the lipstick. So I used that as my lipstick. And then I used the gloss in Buff. All right, so very quickly before I go into swatches, let's talk about what this kit comes with. It sells for $56. It is sold on, I'm sure, Too Faced website. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't even check that. I'm sure that it's there as well. And then it's also a Sephora and all the filming of this video, which I think it's the 24th today. I think it's Thursday the 24th or 25th. I don't know. Um, it is <laughs> It is not currently in stock. I don't know if they're restocking it. I really, I honestly have no idea. But at any rate, so the only thing that I didn't use, and I apologize for this, is the glittery, or glitterly, that also comes with the kit, with the palettes so of the pet. The kit comes with the palette, then it comes with this glitter. It also comes with a liner, and I'm just not a liquid liner user, but I know a lot of people are, and I will tell you this. When I swatched this on my hand to see how black it was, it took forever, lots of washes for me to get it off of there. So I think it would be a good one. The only time I ever use liquid liner is if I'm wearing false lashes. I kind of go over the top lash. So I apologize that I didn't use this. It's just not something that I do on a regular basis. I find it to look a little too stark on me. And then it also came with a 24-hour um, anti-crease eyeshadow primer, the Shadow Insurance. I do, I've used this in the past, not recently, so I will put this in my second, and I will report back on that. This really is more about the palette, but I just wanted to let you know the other things that it came with. And then, of course, the purple better than sex mess. I think that's everything, so let's move on to the swatches. On the top row is Ivy, Sugar Coated, and Frosted Yum. So Ivy, Sugar Coated, and Frosted Yum. Irresistible. Painkiller Makeup and Chill. Irresistible Painkiller Makeup and Chill. Mystic Hour Wham Bam and Wanted. Mystic Hour Wham Bam and Wanted. So of those shades, four of them are matte. And that's Ivy, Painkiller, Makeup and Chill, and Wanted. The rest have some sheen, shimmer, or glitter in them. I'm just going to run them down because there's only nine shades. I'm going to run them down very quickly and just kind of give you my thoughts. So... Ivy. I really like Ivy. It is a nice matte, good brow bone highlight, good blending shade. I think that that's great. Sugar coated, while pretty, <laughs> man, did I put some glitter all over my face the whole day. It didn't, I mean, I would wipe it away. I would look, two minutes later, I felt like, and there was glitter all over. And I didn't really get the kind of payoff I was hoping for, but so Frosted Yum is also very pretty, but again, it's not a, so that's up top there. It's not a super intense silver shade. 
It's a nice silver shade, but it's not super intense. Um, Irresistible is kind of the same thing. It's that metallic, and so it's right there in the center, in the bottom row there. It's very nice, very pretty, but again, it just doesn't have the intensity. I was kind of hoping that it would. Um, Painkiller, which is the center here, it's a beautiful transition shade, works perfectly. And Makeup and Chill is nice, although you can see it's up there. It's not quite as dark as it looks in the pan, but it does perform very well and blends very nicely. Mystic Hour is absolutely stunning. I think it's probably my favorite shade in the palette. Um, I would like to do kind of a look with, with these two next to each other at some point, but... At any rate, Wham Bam, while very pretty, again, you can see it's not quite, I'm not sure if it's going to come, it's not quite as deep as you, you would think in the pan, which is good. It makes it a little bit more wearable, but I just, you know, want to make you aware of that. And Wanted is a lovely black. It's not super deep. It's not like the most pigmented black. It's very nice, though. And I, the re I actually prefer that. It does work well to wet it and use it as a liner. And then um, because it's not so deep and dark and crazy pigmented, it works perfectly for the ways that I used it, which was, you know, kind of adding some depth and dimension into some of the other shades. So the blushes are I Will Always Love You and Justify My Love. And there they are. Very nice, very pigmented. They blend very well. They last pretty well on the skin. And you know what? We need to back up to the eyeshadows for a second because I almost forgot. While these eyeshadows are nice, they, they crease. <laughs> the metallics crease. And they don't last very long. They really kind of fade, which surprised me. I, I don't remember having that issue with Too Faced shadows before. So I'm curious if anybody else that got this palette has noticed that. Um, I bought this palette myself, by the way, in case I didn't mention that at the beginning. But particularly, I love that Mystic Hour shade. But it was funny, there's a gal in the office that loves makeup like I do. And I sometimes, you know, share stuff with her and we talk back and forth. And um, I had her look at it because I thought maybe it was just me. And it was only, I think it was maybe 11 o'clock in the morning and I had done my makeup at 6. And um, she's like, boy, that's really fading very quickly. And I was like... Yes, that is what I think. So I did want to mention that, that I don't think they have the mo the best longevity and not like the other Too Faced palettes, or the, yeah, Too Faced palettes that I've used in the past. And then the last two things are a bronzer and a highlight. So Chocolate Soleil and Champagne Truffle. Oh, that's the highlight there and then Chocolate Soleil. And I like that. I don't feel like that Chocolate Soleil is quite as deep as the one that you get in pan. But it's fine. I've used, a, I've used a whole one of those. I love it. It does seem to blend like that one that I had, although it's been quite a while since I've had it. And the Champagne Truffle is just a lovely, you know, add a little bit of sheen. It's not going to be in your face sort of highlight. Let me give you one more shot of the mascara because I can't remember <laughs> if I did that or not. So you can see the shade of that purple. It is really pretty and it's fun to play with. I probably could have used it on the tips as, of well, as well today, but I thought you wouldn't really see that against the purple, but it's just kind of fun to play with. I, I don't have any colored mascaras in my collection at all, I don't think so. I really did enjoy kind of adding a little bit of something with that um, in a couple of the looks. So there you go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Uh, in the end, $56 is a very good deal for all of these shadows. It's a nice travel palette on the one hand meaning I could get a pretty, you, you know, you could get a nice kind of easy look and add a few pops of color, but this isn't, if I was going to travel, this isn't in my collection, the, you know, the one that I would grab for. And, you know, part of that is probably because I appreciate a little bit more neutral shades, and while this has some neutrals, it definitely has pops of color, so I don't know. I, I'm really, I'm actually very, very on so, the All right, let me try to boil it down. I think that they are nice shades. They are fairly decently pigmented, and they blend well. I just wish that the, there was a little bit more longevity and a little bit more payoff on some of the shades. So, All right, on the rest of my face throughout the video, I pretty much kept it the same as usual, except for, with, you know, with one exception. So foundation, I wore the L'Oreal 24 Infallible Pro Glow every day, and I am in the shade 202. And then the first two days for my powder foundation, I used the Smashbox Photo Filter that I've been using forever, and then it was gone. How about them apples? And then I switched over to the Armani, I don't know the actual, Luminous Silk Compact in the shade 4.5. For bronzer, I used the one that I've been working through, which is the uh, MAC from the Alluring Aquatic and Aphrodite Shell. I'm getting there, you guys. I'm getting there. Beneath my eyes, I used the By Terry Hyaluronic. 
powder. Probably the number one question I get asked if I forget on a Four Looks and Palette what mascara was I using. This time I was using a combination of the Neutrogena Healthy Volume Mascara and then the Max Factor Masterpiece Max High Volume and Definition Mascara. This is one that came into Walgreens very recently. So I think that that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. If you want to check out my other Four Looks One Palette videos, I will list the playlist for you. And I think that's it. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye.